Hey dolls, it's Lola Vid, and today I'm going to show you how to do this smoky um, gray and purple look. And it's my first time doing a darker makeup um, style, so I hope you go easy on me and you know be a little bit nicer. But if you're ready, let's get started on this makeup tutorial. I am currently addicted to the Dior Addict Lip Glow. This is number 004, color Coral. For my foundation, I'm using Fusion Ink Foundation by YSL. My color is BD15 Warm Buff. For my powder, I'm using the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder Foundation. My contour routine, I'm using the Stilla Light. This is the Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo. And because you've seen me contour so many times, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this because the basic routine is all the same. I will say that this really is worth the money. I'm starting to really love the creamy-like kind of contour as well as highlight over any kind of powder because it gives my skin a very wet, moist, and shiny kind of cover girl look. My favorite brand of blush is by Hourglass, and this is the Ambient um, Palette. I'm using the Anastasia brush as well as the Lancome Coal um, Pencil. Honestly, I really like the whole natural eyebrow look, and this color matches my hair the best, and so I love using it. And I'm not afraid to make a mistake because I love my cover stick, my Lee Deal, and it just kind of just shape up every mistake that I have, and I can actually have a unibrow, and this will actually take care of it, and I can just reshape with the concealer. Let's check out the finished eyebrow results. Ooh, fabulous! Okay, let's get started on the main eye makeup look. I'm using the Coastal Sun 88 Ultra Palette. And with the color gold, I'm going to cover my whole lid. This will be my base color for my lid. Using a dark gray or a black, I'm going to go ahead using the same brush and I'm going to just cover half part of my lid and kind of blend it out as I go along. Using a bronze brown goldish color, I'm just going to go ahead and use it as a blender mainly because I kind of like the whole shadow look. Using your own shade of purple, I really recommend a darker shade. I'm going to go ahead and line the lower part of my eye. Using the Itay Mineral Cosmetic Look at Sparkle Bond as well as Cosmetic Glitter number G05 Sparkle, I'm going to go ahead and just apply the liquid on and when it's semi-dry, I'm going to apply the glitter where I usually apply um, the highlight part of my eye. Now, if you don't like the thick glitter look, you can blend it out a little bit. Using the same black shade or dark gray shade, I'm going to go ahead and reshadow the end part. This is so I can bring out the curve or the edge or the dramatic part. Now to really add dramatic, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of purple to the top part where my brown are. This is just to kind of bring out the color. As you can see, now the brown disappeared. I have this dark shade behind my purple. And to liner eyes, I will be using the Victoria's Secret liner to line the upper inner lid of my eye as well as the lower lid and I'm going to kind of blend it out using the opposite brush side just to give it a little more dramatic look and for my liner I'm using osmosis as my liquid liner it's one of my new favorite liquid liner it honestly is up to you and how you want to wing. You can go um, sweet and curvy or you can go dramatic and bold. I love the dramatic and bold because it looked better with my lashes. And you can purchase these at loveshantae.com. They're super easy to apply and they will last all day without bothering you. I love using Their Real by Benefit for my lower lashes because it's just dramatize my lower lashes for me and you can also apply this to your top lash just to combine your real and false lashes I am using the Chanel Coco Shine number 70 I recommend using a nude or fleshy color mainly because your eyes are already so dark that you do not need very dramatic lips so this is the finishing look. I hope you like it because I love going out with this dark mysterious purple look so this is what it looks like after I put my hair down. I love my curls and if you're interested, I will link you on video on how to get these curls. 
voila you're done thank you so much for watching let me know what other color would you like to see what color should i play with um did you enjoy this video um let me know in your comment let me know if i'm doing okay or this tutorial easier to do um i don't really like to do very much dark color because i don't really like dark makeup as much but I'm trying to do as much requests um, from you, my audience. So thank you so much for being a subscriber. Don't forget to like the video, favorite, share, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.